good drawer. It's a big drawer. Got 500 pound rails. So I don't think the wood's even able to handle what the rails are able to take. Might want to finish the screws off in there. But, uh, this is our little, uh, this, will, this will be uh, Rhino line or Raptor line and uh, waterproofed as much as possible for muddy boots and other nasty stuff. A little, little covered there for uh, some reason, because we needed to fill it. And uh, I don't know what we're gonna put there, but I'm sure we'll make it work. Are you still going? Cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I guess it's the tour. We have uh, lots of extra storage. We'll probably put little uh, thumb holes there, maybe some kind of latches to pull it up. Uh, another one here. Uh, and uh, bring it over also uh, kind of tack them off so that they don't slide around. We had another one there, but we actually used it as scrap accidentally. You want to come around? It's, this is just uh, free floating. You want to come around? Another little shoe cubby there, not yet finished. Uh, here we have our. Uh, two inner drawers. Uh, right now, they uh, they are just on the rails, but we're also planning once we put floors in on uh, uh, having sliders so that they can uh, kind of rest on the floor. And uh, the goal behind that is that they'll be able to support tons of weight, which we will use because they are going to uh, be our extension of our bed. Uh, so that gives us our full 74 inch long bed. It's actually wider than a full. It's uh, almost this full width of a queen, uh, but the length of a full, uh, depending on kind of how we make our pads. So that's the the bed frame so far. I'll close it up. Yeah. There it is.